Hey, good afternoon, Dr. Thornton. It's Steve Williams. And uh, for the uh, Chapter 3 requirement on the uh, Case Study 2 assignment, I chose Walmart. And uh, the reason I chose them is because I wanted to, to get a, an organization that I thought was a little tougher, that did create a bit of a challenge. I started to think about uh, companies that had some, some rebranding challenges, and I started to think of uh, things such as Subway and Thought that may have been a little bit too easy because of just the divestment they had from their Jared campaigns was was a little bit uh, just too cut and dried. So, uh, Walmart was an interesting uh, uh, selection, uh, uh, mainly because of uh, their the their corporate identity, image, and reputation. They they do have a bit of a checkered identity, um, and 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 you know from uh, people that they have a significant disdain for them um, and and serious opinions, which I'll outline in. Uh, uh, the uh, chapter four requirement of the assignment, but there's also recognition that they do uh, make some charitable uh, contributions, um, and um, th but uh, you know that that's some of the some of the reasons that they they have a you know a, a troubled relationship is, is things such as the the also um, uh, interaction they have with their local communities. Um, so um, they do have a corporate advertising and advocacy uh, program. Um, it, it's, a, it's a proactive campaign that kind of seeks to address some of the uh, reputational criticisms that they've received over the years. Um, their current um, corporate advertising campaign is titled Global Responsibility, and, and it kind of aims at some of the social and uh, global concerns, and you'll see some of that interacting with the next slide on um, corporate responsibility. They uh, do have, um, as I mentioned, the global responsibility campaign, but uh, their corporate responsibility um, uh, program they have called a community giving. And what it is, it's, it's basically a grant system that assists the needs of tax exempt organizations in the uh, local community. So for example, if there is a, a, a church or something that um, might need some assistance, Walmart would, would extend a, a grant to them if they qualified. Uh, they uh, have an interesting uh, relationship with the media. Um, it, it's, it's complex and, and, and balanced at the same time. And, and that's kind of rare that it's not entirely slanted one way or the other. Uh, media outlets uh, do their job uh, pretty nicely. They um, have, have reported on uh, some of the, the, the negative uh, reputational things, such as working conditions that, that I mentioned earlier, uh, um, challenges to local businesses that can't compete, et cetera. Um, but they also have um, reports of their, their charitable actions as well. Um, this uh, relationship is, is the thing that stood out to me uh, was that they also own their own media group um, within the corporation uh, as a result of some of these complex relationships. Um, from from uh, their ties to legislatures, again, it's kind of a multifaceted relationship. Uh, locally, um, which, you know, I, I would think they'd focus more on, on that aspect. Um, they typically do find some challenges from the community le legislators, um, again, for things such as their working conditions and health care. But um, nationally, they, uh, you know, things such as presidential campaigns, once they have a candidate that they endorse, they make significant contributions. So. Uh, social media presence there, they maintain uh, a presence on all the major platforms, Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and uh, but uh, just like a lot of major organizations, they have their own um, social media guidelines that outlines behaviors and interactions. Um, concluding, they, uh, you know, they, as I mentioned at the start, they have a fascinating corporate identity that they're heavily invested in. And um, as, as mentioned, I think that that's evident by their ability to combat any, any misperceptions of criticisms and, and more uh, highlight their benevolent endeavors. Uh, thank you for your attention. Have a good day.